In 2010, an ambitious vision was set by the government for the land public transport agenda under the National Transformation Program. As a result, land public transport transformation whirled into action, anchored upon the vision of improving the model share for public transport to 40% by 2030. To lead this transformation, the Land Public Transport Commission or the Suruhanjaya Pangakutan Awam Darat SPAD was established. To have a body that can plan, centrally focus on public transport, that the rakyat can feel reliable, efficient and they can afford. Central to this ambition is the rail network which forms the backbone of the mass transit ecosystem. To increase reach and accommodate underserved yet highly populated areas, the Kalana Jaya and Ampang LRT lines were extended in June 2016, serving packed corridors such as Subang Jaya and Puchong. Strengthening urban connectivity further will be the Sungai Bulo Prajang MRT Line 1, scheduled to begin phase one of its operations in December 2016. Future LRT3 and MRT2 projects will increase connectivity further for 2 million commuters respectively. A study is also being conducted on the MRT3 Circle Line that will ramp up urban rail connectivity in the city centre. Providing a point of convergence for various modes of transport under one roof, passengers today are able to travel seamlessly. The rail network is complemented by an extensive range of bus services including feeder buses and stage buses connecting to stations in surrounding towns. BRT Sunway, Malaysia's first electric-powered bus service, was introduced in June 2015. Outside Klang Valley, the government has invested close to 700 million ringgit under the Interim Stage Bus Support Fund, ISBSF, to ensure stage bus operators continue to ply social routes for the benefit of the Rakyat. Connecting capital cities across Malaysia is the My Bus service, which began in 2015 with the government funding of 100 million ringgit. Bridging the gaps between commuting are taxis, which continue to offer a personalized and convenient door-to-door -door service for commuters. Charting a new chapter outside Klang Valley is the introduction of the electric train service, ETS, from Gemas to Padang Besa, providing a hassle-free, comfortable, faster and environmentally sustainable travel option for commuters on long-distance journeys. Adding to the electric double-track project is the Gemas to JB electric double-tracking, which is scheduled to begin at the end of 2016 to serve the west coast of Malaysia. Meanwhile, communities in the East Coast will benefit from the future East Coast Rail Link, or ECRL. Headlining Malaysia's rail ambition is the iconic 350-kilometer Kuala Lumpur to Singapore high-speed rail project, scheduled for completion in 2026. From the construction of rail megastructures that have altered the skyline of Klang Valley, to policy decisions that ensure connectivity in rural heartlands, the LPT transformation momentum continues. Backed by unwavering government support, the most transformative agenda under the National Transformation Programme is firmly on track towards realising the 40% model share for public transportation by 2030.